viewers, a while ago I promised to do a tutorial on the head codes from the LMS, that's the London Midland Scotland, which happens to be the railway for the Liverpool crew route we've got in Trainsim World 2. And the tutorial was going to be about head codes. What are head codes? That's where you put a lamp on the front of the train. Well, a few of them probably. But anyway, they all have meanings. So each of the locomotives has got four brackets. There are three across the bottom and one up the top near the smokestack. And all of these codes mean different things. There's 10 of them in the LMS driver's manual, and here they are. There's one extra one that I found out about recently that's not in the manual, but we'll cover that one as well. So if you're an express passenger, you put on two lamps, one on the left, one on the right, and you're allowed to run at the track limit. If you're an ordinary passenger or a mixed train, now a mixed train is passenger and goods, so that means you've got some good wagons, you're allowed to run at the track limit and you put one white lamp up at the top. Now, before we get off the passenger ones, there's a special one. So if you've got two at the bottom and one in the middle of the top making a triangle, that's the royal train and everything else can just bugger off out of its way. Let's get on to the freight ones. If you have a fast freight using coaching stock, we have none of these in the game. Coaching stock means that it's got bogies, all right? They're allowed to run at the track limit and they have a lamp on the left and a lamp in the middle on the bottom. If it's an express freight where all of the wagons have brakes, in other words, fitted, it's allowed to run at a maximum of 55 miles per hour or the track speed, whichever is lower. And you have one lamp on the left, one lamp in the middle, which happens to be the same as the fast freight. The next one, if you're an express freight and at least 50% of your wagons have brakes, so they've been fitted. Now in the game, the red ones are fitted and the gray ones aren't. If you're using people's liveries and they're colorful, well, you're kind of on your own. Well, not really. It's the coal wagons that don't have brakes. Everything else does. But for express freight, you put a lamp at the bottom and another lamp at the top. For an express freight where at least 20% of the train is fitted with brakes, then you've got one lamp in the middle at the bottom and one lamp on the right. If it's an express freight unfitted, which means it has no brakes, it's limited to 40 miles an hour, and it's got one lamp at the top and one lamp on the right. If it's a through freight unfitted, so no brakes, it's got a maximum speed of 35 miles an hour, and it's got one lamp in the middle on the bottom and one at the top. If it's a branch, officer, ballast, stopping freight or other weird thing, then it's limited to 35 miles an hour, and it's only got one lamp on the right-hand side. If it's light engines alone or with a brake van or a bunch of brake vans, then it's allowed to run at the loco speed, which is 65 miles an hour for the Jubilee, and I think 55 for the ATF from memory, something like that anyway. Shoot me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. Anyway, that gets one lamp on the left and one lamp at the top. So that's it for the head codes. But what do they mean? Well, they tell the signalman, the train that's coming at them, what it is and how much priority it should have. So each of these, the highest number one, has more priority than number 10, for example. And the, passion, the signalman knows that if he sees one with the three lamps, then everything else can just bugger off out of its way and he needs to clear the line for it. Seems fair to me. For the others, it can help tell him how the train should be handled. For example, we often have a fast line and a slow line. If it's an express passenger or a fast freight or an express freight or an express freight with 50% fitted, then you'd probably put them on the fast line because they're not going to hold anybody up. But the other trains, you're going to want to put them on the slow line so you don't hold up faster stock. You would also hold a train, let's say you had a through freight unfitted 35 mile an hour and you know there's a passenger train coming, then you're going to hold the through freight in its siding and you're going to let the passenger train go through most likely because they have priority. But that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple stuff. They might help the people in stations too. I couldn't find any reference for that, but it wouldn't surprise me because they'd know what was coming at them and they'd know what, what to do. Anyway, that's it for now. If you've got any questions, chuck them in the comments and I'm sure we can learn together. See ya.